We're going to give you a tour of the boat. As you can see, she's a catch with strong uh, stainless railing, painted in international two-pack with grip on the deck. Um, very strong boat with a Manson Supreme anchor. The uh, davits hold the dinghy and also have lots of solar panels on top. Moving forward over the aft cabin, there's a nice uh, deep cockpit which is very safe at sea with a hard steel dodger, glass portholes. She was re-rigged in 2016. Moving forward you can see strong hatches that let in a lot of light and air, it can be safely dogged down for when at sea. There's a whisker pole for the headsail and a an, uh, reliable electric windlass, new chain in 2017. Coming inside and looking at the saloon galley area, a professionally upholstered lounge area, dining table out of nice uh, solid rosewood, door to the head, Lots of natural light through the solid portholes. Um, recent model television that can be swung out with USB and DVD options. A lot of storage. And several drawers there. Really nice stove. Um, good to use at sea, gimbaled with fiddles, spice shelf, spice racks, a lot of deep storage there. A lot of surfaces for working in the kitchen, in the galley I should say. Nice deep ever cool fridge, lots of capacity there and very efficient, can also be used as a freezer. There's a double stainless sink, hot and cold water, and also salt water option when you're at sea. Some solid stairs in the companionway going back up into the cockpit. Coming up to the nav station nice comfortable seat there, good lifting desk, plenty of room for your nav gear, laptop, iPads, room for your log book, storage and safety equipment, uh, handheld two-way that's uh, an extra GPS, we've got uh, radio there for entertainment, VHF of course, AIS, uh, Zeridium go there. We may have to ne negotiate on that one. That might go with us. Don't know. Um, switchboard, bilge pumps, engine controls and gauges. Murphy gauge for the engine temperature. Volt gauge, isolator breaker for the windlass. Solar control center. Fire extinguisher. More switches and. Engine isolating, house isolating, voltage sensitive relay, 
and you can use that parallel you can jump start yourself from the house batteries uh, barometer again nice solid porthole uh, island double bed uh, big advantage of this island double double bed is in rolly anchorages we swing it around so it goes east west uh, in a rolly anchorage that's a big advantage a uh, second chart plotter in here dodgy anchorage or anywhere where we don't feel comfortable I've got another chart plotter and anchor alarm uh, hanging space good quality port portholes fan more portholes, portholes, and good solid bronze portholes. Plenty of storage here, lifting storage. Going forward into the V berth, it's a nice spacious cabin. There's desk and shelves made out of the rosewood, solidly built, and hold a lot of books. It's a good wide berth, upholstery matches the that in the main cabin, LED lighting, portholes and a watertight bulkhead to, going forward to the anchor chain locker so that's kept very separate. Lots of hanging space here, nice big mirror, fan. Looking at the head you've got Manual, manual head, a shower there, little sink, and some storage racks. Engine room can be entered from the aft cabin. It's quite spacious for easy work. Also, you can pull out the steps and access it from the front. A special feature of this engine is that you can crank start it by hand, which is pretty amazing.